Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. It's Nikki here, and today we're making a start on Roxy's Journal of Stitchery, round three. Round two ended up as a bit of a disaster for me. Too many things happened, and I did not have time to stitch, so I've just put that aside. I may finish it one day if I ever have time, but I like the sound of this one. For me being a bit time poor, I think this one will be a little bit easier to achieve. So I've got my little basket of goodies that I'm going to start with. I like to try and keep the things I want to play with close at hand. So I bought myself a lovely new basket to pop it all in. Now, I decided to do something a little bit different. Um, actually, what if I move this out of the way and I'll pull things out. All of my embroidery thread are on these little cardboard spooly things. And I didn't have a timber spool like a lot of other people are going to use. And I thought, hang on a minute, why don't I make a spool? So I grabbed some cardboard and I glued down some paper and I've put down the garden path stamped on there and a cute little bee. And I am going to wrap mine around this. So that's my plan for that. Then I had, I bought a um, pillowcase at the um, op shop. It cost me a dollar. Uh, because my stash is, a lot of my stash is in storage. So I've, I've had to go and, I, I did bring some of my fabric, but of course not all of it. So I um, grabbed this pillowcase and I've torn strips so that uh, when it's done, it will wrap around here nicely. So that's that. I've got two of them at the moment and I've got obviously got plenty more pillowcase. So if I need to make more, or I mean, I don't know how long it's going to be. I do like the fact that with this project, if you just want to make something a little bit smaller for a prompt, it's not a whole page. So who knows how much of that I'll need. Now I have grabbed a few fabrics from my stash. I've decided I'm going to do a completely neutral background um put basically no color whatsoever other than maybe this you know it's it, this has been coffee dyed that's about as much color as i'm going to add so we're going to keep things very neutral um and going for texture instead of color on the background and then whatever the prompts are they can be the star of the page so we've grabbed some basic fabrics to start doing my background and I have lots of little trims thankfully I did bring this with me um I may sorry I know I said a completely neutral but I do have a few pieces that have you know little bits of embroidery on it I may include those this one is not really a lot of colour, but look, who knows? We'll see. But thankfully, I do have quite a few pieces of lace and trims like that so that um, we can create some nice texture. I've popped in my standard cotton that I'm going to sew everything down with for starters. And then I think I might use this colour to do some plain but decorative sort of stitching, again, just trying to build up texture and a bit of contrast. And the other thing in my basket is this is my little journal that has got me through the last two, even though I didn't finish the second. The first I certainly did. This book is amazing, the A to Z of Embroidery Stitches. It has just about everything in it. And thankfully I didn't put that one into storage. And then I was at an op shop yesterday and I found this stunning book and I got it for a total of $1. It's a lot of ribbon embroidery, but also plenty of other stitches. And some of the projects in here are just delightful. And of course, you get full instructions. So no reason why I can't throw some ribbon embroidery into my 
project possibly but i just couldn't resist this for a dollar i thought yes you are coming home with me so what we're going to do today is just start creating my background i think what i will do is i will half tear and half cut my little background pieces because I do want to again create some texture now one of these I yes I trimmed this edge down it's not perfect because I've decided what I want to do when this project is complete I want to put the end of the project attach it to this haven't quite decided how I'm going to do that yet, but I'll work on that. And so then when the project's finished, I want the first bit of it to sit on the front. So I thought what I might do, for example, let's take a piece of this. We're going to just, we'll tear it, because I think it's just this, this one tears quite nicely, even though we do end up with a few threads. And then what I thought I would do is when I stitch these down, I'm going to see not, I'm going to go beyond the edge of the fabric. Let's grab another bit. We might cut this one. But the aim of the game is, oh, I could leave that bit there. That's fine. What I want to do is I'm going to fold this over and give that way that'll give this edge a nice neat finish, but it will also give it some strength. So if I, that if I want to add some sort of closure, I've got something nice and solid to work with. So that's what we're aiming for here. And we're just going to play with all these things. See, I thought a piece of this would would be lovely. I don't mind if it hangs down a little bit, but I can't go too far. Actually, I won't use all of that. I might just use a piece of it. I can't go too far down because I don't think I've got enough depth on my little spool there. There we go. There's another bit. What shall we go for next? Here we are. Let's, I don't know if this tears. Let's find out if we can tear this one. No, it doesn't. Okay, that's fine. <clears throat> we'll cut a piece of this out. I don't mind having half cut, half torn. Just for a little bit of variety. Pop that one down there. No, don't like that. Oh, I don't like that edge very much. Let's try and straighten that up. There we go. Now, the other thing is, I don't know how far ahead to do. Um, sort of a bit undecided there as well. But that's okay. Now, I've got this. This is a bit... Oh, let's bit of a frayed edge there but I think I might leave that there I actually quite like that if we trim that off I can have a little bit of a frayed piece there we go now um we might do one more bit no we might oh actually I wonder if that's enough for starters I'm really not sure about this I must say it is a little bit easier when you have a whole page you know exactly where you're at what if we no I don't want to cover that up look we might trim this off and we might leave it at that for starters then we might just put if I can find a little something a little bit lacy for up the top there see even something simple like this would be good and if we tack that along there oh yes I like that plan right 
I think that should do it for starters. I think we'll just start small and then I can just keep adding to this as required. So we're going to pin all this down. I will sew it down and I will be back shortly. And it's the next day and I am back. I have all my initial pieces tacked down and then I've done a few little extra stitches using DMC H22 again keeping it really neutral I've just added a few stitches a bit of cross stitching just for a little bit of extra texture and I'm really happy with how that's turned out I think that's enough for now I have no idea how many wild flowers I will get down there but we can just keep adding on to this as required. Then the other thing I did, whilst I was going through my stash, I realised I was incredibly short of green fabric. I have virtually nothing. So I quickly made my own. What I did with this one, this is sort of like, um, uh, it's actually bandage. I got it at the chemist or one of the cheap shops, I'm not sure. And I've just used some watercolour paint to tint that sort of a nice light fresh green then i have this meshy stuff i think i bought this at a two dollar shop and i used acrylic paint heavily diluted and then i just smooshed it all in there um, um i did good idea to wear gloves too i literally had to scrub all this off then the other thing i did was i created this one here using Distress Ink Brush Corduroy with the brush that I had mushed up the green paints with so you do see little bits of green because I've decided I would like a garden path that meanders all the way through my piece so what I intend to do is cut out little squares and quickly tack them down and so it'll be like a paver all the way through. I couldn't decide how else I could do it very quickly and easily. So I just created this. The little bit of green is fine. It'll look like a bit of moss or something. I don't know. But I thought, yes, we'll just cut some little squares and tack them down for my path. So that's it for today. Um, I am ready to start wild flowering. Um, I'm going to hit Pinterest, I think, and find some nice Australian wildflowers that I can pop in my first section. So there we go. Quick update, quick overview. Time to get stitching. Until next time, stay safe, stay healthy. Bye for now.